All right, guys, this is Cyril Gupta, the best friend in your business. And today I'm back with a new review. This one is for AI Bot Studio. This is an all new software, all new chatbot builder, which creates chatbots that work on Instagram, Facebook, and WhatsApp. Meta properties. Yes, it works on all meta properties. Anyone who reaches out to you through a direct message on WhatsApp, on Instagram, and also on Facebook Messenger to your page, of course, this bot can reply to them with highly intelligent trained replies just behaving nearly like a human being giving your customers the effective information they need to make the purchase decision so you can have more purchases you can give people support information and also answer their questions so this is a way to have a 24 7 on support team on sales team without having to have people man it and i totally recommend this sort of technology i totally recommend you having this because i've been using a similar technology of course that i built it's called people bots and it works on websites and it's incredibly useful it's working a lot for me and for for all my buyers who've bought people bots in the past, but it cannot make replies on WhatsApp, Instagram, and Meta. And this software does it. So all of you guys who have people bots, you should consider this too, because it can get you covered in a place where even I don't cover you so far and get you more business from Meta, from Facebook, Instagram, and WhatsApp. So now let's look at AI Bot Studio. So AI Bot Studio is a bot creator it's not very complicated to use i've put in a lot of features in people bots but, but ai bot studio is quite a lot simpler so you start by the with the bot library and you can see here we've got a bot configured by matt garrett he's one of the creators by the way for this bot and i will just take a look at this for a moment click on edit chatbot and you can see the bot is set up in a certain way let's wait it to load All right, so it's loaded. You can have a chatbot name. This is the chatbot headline, the chatbot description, greeting, user input. I'm actually going to show you how to create a chatbot first. And you can connect it to your OpenAI account. And you can have quick buttons where people can click a button and kind of, you know, reach your uh, uh, details. So I'm going to show you this in a moment. Let's start afresh by creating a bot because that's how it's about it's about that experience so click on create a bot and i will call this one jeet bot here we go Cyril gupta's marketing bot description this is only for your reference click on save and you have it here click on edit chat bot It's loading. So you've got the chatbot headline. This is the headline. Answers from Cheat. By the way, I want to clarify this entire experience is how it will look on your website. Now, this is not exactly how things will look in WhatsApp or Instagram, but this is how it will look on your website. If you decide to embed this, there's a description. Put that in. Greeting text. Now, when your bot starts a conversation, that's what it will say. Just put that information in. And you can also change this placeholder. Finally, if you want to tell people that this is a bot, you can make it a disclosure. But here is the thing. Most people are quite smart. They're used to talking to intelligent AI these days. And I don't think you will have a problem even if you just let it be. Finally, once you're done, click on Save Settings. And now you can control the appearance. The next button is for appearance. You can put in a logo, a round logo, a widget icon. You can change the color for the owner's response and for your own, for the customer's response too. I'm not going to do that right now, but you can also connect it to WhatsApp, to Messenger and to Instagram. So that's the magic, you know, that's where the bot will start replying. Now, I'm not going to connect it to my own personal account, but I will show you what Matt has set up in just a moment. Finally, click on save settings here again. And if you go on the welcome gate, well, this is where you'll 
you, where you grab the lead. So the welcome gate is a special pop-up that appears on top of the conversation to prompt people to give them your, to give you their contact information. So you can either choose to have it appear instantly or after the customer sends you the first message. And I totally recommend that. There's a reason behind it. Whenever people start messaging you, whenever they have typed a message to you, then they're already invested in that. And they will then tend to give you that email, give you their phone number and other details that you ask for compared to the person who has just started the conversation and is met with a lead box, lead opt-in box right away. So I would totally always go for the on first message. Now, if you want to include the include confirmation box, by the way, I just have to turn the welcome gate on. I did that. It will also prompt people that they can sign up for our newsletter. Now, I want to give you a second tip on that. The GDPR law says, especially in the US, you don't have to collect consent like this. Here is the reason. When people give you their email address and other contact information willingly, you're legally authorized to reach out to them to contact them with your sales of offers. That's exactly what the law says. So you don't have to worry about this because it will reduce your signups. Now, I would do this if I was marketing only to Europe, but if I was marketing internationally and particularly to the US market, I would not bother about this. Now, next, you can have a you can have some sort of text. If you include the confirmation box, you can change it. Also, you can put in some call to action. Something that, that makes people want to give you the details. By the way, you can also ask for, in addition to the email, you can ask for first name, last name, and also the phone number. Of course, I would say the minimum information that you collect the better because what happens is when people are forced to sign more, to put in more info, they will definitely not put in that info and they will just move on. So again, first name, email, I think is a pretty good choice. If you need the phone number, perfect. Otherwise, let it be. Click on save settings and your bot is ready. Now, you also have a way to create a dedicated page where people can talk to the bot. So this is how the chat experience is on websites when you embed the bot, and this is how the dedicated page will look. And again, the same thing, you can change this based on whatever you put in. So I put in a lot of information, and based on that, it's already been modified. And here you can actually see the bot in action. So there are three things, the embed code, this is the iframe code. So if you put this code on your page, the bot will show up exactly in the place of the code. So you can have it as a part of your WordPress theme or your corporate website, that's perfectly easy. You can embed it as a pop-up chat bot, just like this one using the second embed code. And the third one is, uh, I'm not really sure about it. It's a page component and bubble component. I am not sure. I think it's for existing page divs and also for bubbles. Not really sure what it does, but anyways, we can leave it. Now, the second thing is you can have a dedicated page to the bot. This is the bot URL and people can chat with the spot to, on a dedicated page. So I can say things like, hey, uh, how are you? And by the way, I have not put in more information, but look at this, the pop-up gate appears and now I'm supposed to give it my contact information. Fantastic. There is also a page URL, which is a full page experience for the conversation. And it's going to be the same experience. Awesome. So I'm going to leave that be. And the assistant creator is the place where you actually create the system to feed in the data. By the way, the assistant creator is a place where you can create an assistant and uh, you can assign it to your bot. So if I want to, for example, create a JIT assistant and I can select an open AI account. By the way, you do need to have your open AI keys ready for this and you can integrate it by clicking on this button, the settings button over here, then click on API keys and you can put in your API key over here, the open AI API key, because it uses the open AI key to get the responses processed by GPTs, you know, so it, I think it uses GPT-4. You can actually select the engine. So for example, I have selected open AI account, and then you can select what AI you wanna use. Here we go. You have GPT-4, GPT-40613, and GPT-3.5. So you can select any one of these AIs you can also select the tone that you want the bot to reply in. So we've got a lot of different options. By the way, it has ready, uh, ready uh, trained bots in a number of different categories. So you can see there's so many different categories over here. 
and whenever you select a category you can find experts that can be connected to that category for example a cyber security consultant and when you select it it's automatically gonna generate all the training data for you and you can change it if you want to change anything about it absolutely modifiable so you can change it and adapt it to yourself you can see that it's generated and if you want to change it by ai maybe you just, just want to do another run you can click this button i'm not going to do that you can modify it the way you want finally click on save and your bot is trained click on create assistant and it's already created so when you go into bot library next i think i can connect the assistant let's try to do that loading go to settings and ai assistant we choose the open ai key and we can choose the assistant here we go the assistant is create is uh, saved click on save settings it's created and now the bot is fully functional and now the bot is fully functional and by the way do you remember the cool buttons that showed up over here this is where you set them up set it up and now you can put in information like tell me about cloud funnels what's the one membership so you can prompt the people with some ready-made questions that saves you time that gives people some kind of inputs so if they don't need to find type the entire thing they can just click it and boom the bot is prompted now you can train the bot you can put in the information that you think is relevant and the bot should know when people ask questions it should have these answers by clicking on this button right chat bot training and you can train it using files using text and using q and a so files you can upload any kind of pdf so i'm just going to grab this is a book that i read so i fed it the entire book in just a few seconds right still uploading so it's already done the chatbot now knows this entire book so if you got practice manuals knowledge bases you got a training manual or you are a coach who's got a book or something you want to you want your bot to be able to answer questions connected to that you can put it here you can also put in your own custom text so if you've been preparing some training information you can just paste the text over here and finally in q and a you can put in questions and answers that the bot will remember and it will answer effectively now don't forget the magic of AI Bot Studio is not just in being a regular bot which is embeddable on website. It's been done before. I did it extremely well using people bots. But the magic is in processing replies on WhatsApp, on Messenger, and on Instagram. That's where the real magic is, right? So if you want to get the embed code, I'm going to... Okay, let's go and try to talk to this bot. This is Matt's bot. It's not mine. But let's take a look at the configuration now. So you can see it's been trained on a couple of P one PDF file, one text file, and one more PDF file with support and FAQ responses. And it's been configured. There is a logo, the round logo, the widget icon. This is the round logo. This is the widget icon. And the main icon is right over here. So you can make it look pretty. And the WhatsApp is connected, the Messenger is connected, and the Instagram is connected. Obviously, I don't want to connect my personal accounts for the purpose of a review, but this is what happens. When it's connected, it's going to be able to process the replies whenever people message you on the WhatsApp account. The phone number is also going to be displayed over here. Or on Messenger, or on Instagram, the bot is going to reply to you. And if you want to check the bot yourself, go to page URL, talk to it, or go to bot URL and talk to it. So look at this. This is the experience. Contact Matt. And then again, you know, you can sign up. So this is what AI Bot Studio is about. And if you want to be able to create this kind of experience on WhatsApp, Instagram, or on Facebook Messenger, definitely this is a product that you should consider getting. And if you do get it, the good news is I will give you Technic Force Rewards points. And using Technic Force Rewards, you can grab any of my products absolutely free of cost within the technique force rewards website so there is a website that i've created only for the people who patronize me using this uh, programs you can go to technique force rewards start in after you purchase your reward points are added automatically into the reward store you don't have to do anything manually you can just redeem your 
your products that you want to get from me with just one click and to remind you I have a lot of good products guys so go to technicforce.com these are all my products cloud funnels course funnels shop funnels tube rank cheat live caster mighty memes Pinflux, Selly, Engagey, Sendstar, Mail Engine, List Janitor, Blog A, Bloggy AI, Talentula, Post Influence, Amplify, Tube Target, Leads List, Leads Tool List, People Bots, Converti, Loggy Browser, Webinar Loop, Voicey, Pixie AI, Collective, Vidscribe. All of these tools are really high quality tools maintained with great dedication and you can get them without having to pay for them using the Technic Force Rewards program when you buy match product AI Bot Studio through me. So if you purchase it, I will see you on the inside. This is Cyril Gupta, the best friend in your business, signing off.